Hey everybody, this is Paul with Collector's Escape talking today about books, specifically Dragonlance fantasy books. This is a wonderful genre and it's a very deep genre when it comes to Dragonlance. The Dragonlance series really spawned out of the early 80s TSR Dungeons and Dragons series, specifically the advanced Dungeons and Dragons. They needed to have a storyline that uh, branched off and Dragonlance was that. And a few of the designers in that early days was uh, Margaret Weiss, Tracy Hickman. Tracy Hickman is a dude and his wife is Laura Hickman, also tremendously talented writer and designer. And so they, uh, they took that forward with story boards for the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons and then introduced the actual novels. And for many people, so their introduction for me as a reader of uh, science fiction and fantasy and horror, you know, these were like, these were awesome because I played Dungeons and Dragons, enjoyed that. And my first book was the... Um, Chronicles Volume 1 Dragons of Autumn Twilight and here's the cover and really what you got introduced to with these stories were the same thing that you were doing with the Dungeons and Dragons is you had multi people in a fantasy setting who were fantasy characters themselves all that had their own special abilities special tools they may have even had uh, they all had their special backstories. There was uh, another one in that series that I also read, probably uh, as a teenager. Though I have to admit, my reading, a lot of my reading came later in time, in my 20s. But these, were, these stories, one, they, they, were, they were bloody, they were action-packed, they were full of suspense. You didn't know what was going to happen next. You found that you fell in love with these characters. The characters could die, which is a mark, I believe, of, of good storytelling because it breaks the bounds of protecting characters so you can actually worry about them when things are going wrong. Uh, but there wasn't any gratuitous sex. There wasn't any uh, kind of uh, uh, sexual debauchery in these books. They were pretty clean books. So uh, if your kids are reading them nowadays, you don't have to go in there and say, oh, I better, better check this out. This, this may be full of something that's going to teach them something I don't want them to know, if that's a concern. Now, there are many, many different series. And there are other authors uh, beyond uh, Weiss and Tracy Hickman and Laura Hickman. But they bring a lot of cool stories. I have mounds of them here, and I don't have them all collected. Uh, but I have a volume three of, uh, of the heroes. I want to show you some of these covers because they are really cool. The Meetings, Sex Tech, volume one. And I just did a big uh, eBay buy, a big box of eBay. And for the most part, the books came in pretty good shape. There's little, there's little things to them. They're not perfect, but they're in pretty good shape. The Preludes and uh, Heroes and Prelude series were very popular. So they came back with what they call Preludes 2, Heroes 2. Um, the Legend series. You would have magicians, dragons, black sorcerers. Heroes 2, The Gates of Thorbian. I, I know, I remember reading this one. So everything you would have enjoyed reading in um, a Tolkien book. You can pick right up with these books and continue on. The writing styles 
are a little bit of both. They're kind of, uh, uh, this book's a little, little rough, Kindermore. I uh, definitely remember this book and read it. Um, in that the you pick up and read a Dragonlance book and you know you're in a Dragonlance book. But all of the stories are completely unique. And so what you see is a tremendous amount of character creation, character development, backstory creation. The Test of the Twins. I read this one. A lot of memories coming back. Reading these. And that was in the Legends series. Love and War. The Dragonlance series books have awesome covers. They're all uh, the kind of covers that immediately uh, bring you in and, want, and get you excited into the story. See, Magic of Crin. I'll tell you what we'll do. We have a couple doubles here. Um, and I've talked about this before with our doubles. We can take, these books pretty much will stand alone. So if you get a volume two, it's always the best to go through all of them and that's what I like to do. But if you get a volume two and you want to try one or volume four, the story will stand alone by itself. If you'd like to get one of our doubles, simply type down below, please send me a double and then I'll private message you and I'll shoot you a copy until we run out of our doubles. We've got a few and we would, instead of just trading them back to a used bookstore and getting a little percentage of it, I prefer to share one of these awesome stories with those of our subscribers. Please subscribe and then send us a, and just say, hey, I'd like to have a copy if you have any more doubles. And uh, we'll private message you, we'll shoot you one and share one of these awesome Dragonlance stories with you. You just can't beat it. We're also going to have the links down for our newest creations of our science fiction postcards. We started doing some montages, which are like super awesome, as well as some of our classic, uh, really neat uh, pulp fiction, science fiction postcards. And I'm wearing today, if you can see it, I'm wearing our, my um, foreheads, they call them the foreheads. And I don't know if you can see foreheads in this or not. If you look hard enough, you probably can. Really cool shirts that we sell to help fund what we do. The links for that will be down below. My name is Paul, talking today about Dragonlance books, wonderful fantasy escapes here on Collector's Escape. Have a great day.